back in the lab. And today I'm going to show you guys how I use the single setting to create something new, something fresh. I haven't really used it like this ever before. And I'm going to show you guys how I implemented it into my wrap. But before we get started, I had to use different pieces because I lost the footage of the original video, but it's still all the same principle. So here I have a piece of 22 gauge copper wire, dead soft. If you have half hard, it's even better, but you can just grab a Sharpie marker and we're going to wrap it around the very end of the sharp Sharpie marker. Like, like it's going down in a funnel. It's gonna get smaller and smaller as you go around. And that's what you're looking for. Now, like I said, if you have half hard wire, this setting is gonna be magnificent. It's gonna be strong. It's not gonna warp and lose its shape as you work with it. Using dead soft, it loses uh, its shape and it's kind of tough to work with. But after you do it over and over again, you get better at you know, keeping the shape um, and, you know, just being more aware of your material. Once that's done, grab your gemstone of choice and you're just gonna gently work it, work it in there. So right here, I had a, a big open section of the gemstone, you know, just not secured so i did another loop around the stone with my fingertips you know just gently guiding it now usually i do a loop or something to tie it in but i got the i got the uh the shape done really nicely so i, I just decided to keep it a straight circle around the stone instead of doing a little loop so now i take the bottom wire bring it up to the top so it meets the other piece of wire and now we're ready to tie them together. But this is where things get a little janky, so forgive me for this part, but here we go. All right, so I also lost the footage of, you know, the piece that I actually have in my wrap, but I'm gonna show you guys how I did it on paint. So here we have the stone and this is where the wire meets. We'll do whoosh, right there. It's perfect. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to set a little gap, kind of just like that right there. Just a nice little gap. Okay. And we're going to start on this bottom wire and we're going to do, let's say six wraps so that it does it all the way down here. So it's nice and solid on this piece of wire. And then once it gets to the top, like you could go over both, but instead you're gonna go back in between and then we're gonna go under and over the top three times. I did four right there, do it three times. And then you're gonna go back in between and under and over the top three times and then under and over and then under and over like that and it's going to create a nice whoosh, whoosh, pattern like that be careful not to pull them too tight or else it will it'll pinch the wires together and it's you know it's gonna you're gonna lose the shape it's, it's gonna go wank like that and <laughs> you don't want that. So once you have enough of that, once you have enough of uh, the beautiful pattern going, very nice, very clean. I took another single setting, just like this one, a little bit bigger and did the same thing. I added it and now I have three wires on this side and still the one on the bottom. And I just continued the pattern I kept it going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, just like that. <laughs> It'll make sense when you do it. 
So now in this part, I'm just working on my placement, how I want the double single setting to sit. And I originally had it, you know, it was gonna sit kind of diagonal so that it could fit, but it didn't work out. It actually straightened itself out, which is even better. So now I'm just working on the bail and I, you know, just bent those pieces to, towards the, uh, towards each other. And I just tied them together with some half round wire. So this is where you can just get creative and learn how to use the wire to your advantage and, you know, tying wires together in the middle of a project. So I just took those three wires and I put them through a space where, you know, I could just simply tie it down. And then I have that one singular wire and I'm just going to straight go ahead and tie it to the, uh, to the bale. No trouble, no fuss done and easy. Uh, um, let's get it out of the way. Let's keep going. And like, uh, someone made a comment on one of my videos, like, Oh, are you going to finish a piece or turn into a bracelet into a ring? What I do with everything on my videos is I make separate little pieces and then I put it all together. So it's just one big piece. So here I'm pulling the wires from the back to the front again. So it gives that, you know, strong hold. And then I, I pull both the wires. I think I leave one wire hanging around in the back. And then with those two wires, um, I pull them nice and close together, straighten them out a little bit. And then I start to tie them with some 30 gauge, 1420 gold. So once I have a good length of, you know, I want it to wrap around the side and then towards the bottom of the gemstone. And then I'm going to feed those two wires back through the front and to back to the back, you know, so it leaves a nice clean finish. Unfortunately, one of the wires was too short. So it's kind of just like, it's not doing anything. I couldn't even really grab it or do anything with it. So I used that uh, super long wire to my advantage and tie it down. So I know that that wire isn't going anywhere. So I just tied it around like one of the gaps in the back, right in between that big thick copper wire, I tied it right around that. And the secret to wire wrapping is, say you have a lot extra left over and you do a lock like that, try to meet it up with another piece of wire and begin another weaving pattern or something. And like right here, you can see that like, you know, I'm, I'm playing with the wire, like see if I could have it go next to the gold piece and like back around to the bottom, but there just wasn't enough of the wire. So my next thought is to just anchor it to the same piece that I just tied everything else to. And this is what we're left with. It's secure. It's beautiful. I love the way it looks. It strained itself out. And now we just got to add some more wire and maybe some more gems. <laughs>